How's it going, guys? I'm making this video concerning the General Electric Deep Field Washing Machine, model number GTW 460 ASJ2WW. The reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube concerning a problem that um, a customer was having with this washing machine. Um, I was able to get the paperwork for the machine and it was giving me the fault codes of a fault code number 14, which is a lead lock failure. And um, so I um, pulled out, I was able to um, access the lead lock and sure enough, um, it failed the um, continuity test. In order to access the lead lock, according to the directions which come with the washing machine, they recommend that you disconnect all of the connections to the control board okay so i did i disconnected all of the connections to the control board accessed the um lid lock took it off replaced it with a new one plugged it in and then um hooked the machine up and according to the um directions which come with the uh, washing machine the field service um recommendations put it on a cycle and um the washing machine um the lid lock it began this um it began to function it will work all the way up to the point where um it will pump out the water and then the machine would completely shut down it wouldn't do anything else so then i put it on drain and spin sometimes it would spin it would drain it would always drain the water and sometimes it would spin sometimes it wouldn't so i didn't know exactly what to do i didn't know what was going on so anyway so I went back to the, um, it, it, I started thinking about how the directions told me to disconnect all of the wires to the control board. And we know that when you're working on a Whirlpool vertical mount washers, whenever you uh, replace the control board on those washing machines, or if you replace the motor or the, um, or other parts, they always say that you have to run a calibration mode in order for the machine to work correctly when you replace those parts. But this General Electric Deep Field, their directions didn't say anything about that. Okay, so what I did was um, I went into the uh, field service mode and I accessed the uh, clear all faults mode, which is number 16. Um, so I put it on clear all faults, I hit start, I had the water uh, connected. And the washing machine began to fill up with water, <laughs> which they don't say that in the um, instruction manuals. The washing machine, it began to fill up with water, so I just let it go. Okay, so what the washing machine did was it began to act the same way that a Whirlpool vertical mount washer would behave when you put it in the, um, in the sales demo mode how the washing machine would just go through the wash cycles. It would bring water in, it would agitate, it would pump the water out, and it would go into the spin. This, it, it began to do that. And it just kept repeating that over and over and over for a very long time. I was like, man, this thing is acting like it's in the sales demo mode. All right. So sure enough, I um, stopped the washing machine put it on a regular cycle and I put it on a regular wash cycle, like normal cycle. And then um, I ran a cycle and that solved the problem. So um, whenever you guys are uh, working on, whenever you disconnect all of the wires on a General Electric deep field GTW 460 ASJ2WW control board, even though your field uh, service mode doesn't tell you to do it, I would recommend that you guys access the um, number 16 clear all fault, all fault codes mode, run that through the cycle, and then and then that should clear out all of your problems, hook up, then put it on a regular cycle and see if the washing machine works correctly. Talk to you later. Bye.